Um, a while back, uh... Oh! <laughs> oh, no, uh. those are your table. Well, table. Okay, um... <laughs> Disney animation, of all people... Um, of all people. Actually, maybe Ben should tell, because I don't really know how it came about. I know that it was a show that had already been designed, it was pitched, and they didn't really... It was they needed retooling. Um, Do you want to come up? Come on up. Yeah, so about, like what, like a year and a half ago, two years ago? It was a long time ago. Uh, we had just done a show called Motor City that got picked up on our main. Yeah. <laughs> Disney loved Motor City and they wanted us Motor to do City. another show and they had the show that they had they'd done a pilot for and it was cool, but it looked like Kim Possible ten years after they had made Kim Possible. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, the I, I, I only saw one image of like the, all the characters or the main characters and it was Kind of in a style, yeah, it looked like Kim Possible. It's a style that you've seen before. It was... But they wanted us to really. It was okay. I thought it looked okay. I thought it looked like, I could no, see it, this. It looked really good, but it didn't feel like maybe it had been done before and they wanted a different look. And they loved Motor City and wanted us to do something. We were like, well, let's not do Motor City again. We did that. So we put together a list of people that we liked, and Jonan was at the top. And Jonan had not designed a show in a very long time. So they were. I, I knew these guys before this came up, so. I, like, it was like my friend coming to me and saying, hey, do you want to do some designs for a thing? So it's not my thing, it's not my show. I actually have no clue what this is. And I'm not kidding, I've never seen it. I was running at Comic-Con, I was running into friends of mine who did voices on Zimmer and Kevin, uh, Kevin Michael Williams. And uh, he had done, he did voices on Zim, he did like the, uh, he was, the, the Mega Doomer episode, he's the worker oh. guy that's like shipping off the packages and he, he did a bunch, he did a bunch of monsters in the Halloween episode, ran into him and he said that he was this character in the show and I'm like, I designed that character, I, did, I didn't know that he was the voice, so uh, it was just a design thing, which I'd never done, I thought it was very cool that, you know, they came to me and asked me just to do designs, because no one comes to me for that sort of stuff, because generally I do my own thing. Um, so when they come to me, they generally want me to do my particular thing as opposed to doing what most designers would do, and that's uh, something that is kind of predefined. Um, and uh, so I did that. So I guess there's a yeah, yeah. We have a like two minute trailer for the new series. Uh, it's called Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja. I hope it's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. But yeah, you continue to work on the show a little bit. Done some monsters. I did a couple of. Um, I it was very cool. Because uh, they're like, well, they want you to do some more, some additional designs, and I got to basically, it was cool because I got to basically just say, uh, I don't really want to unless I'm just drawing more monsters and robots, because I do that anyhow. So I spent the last couple of months, and I just finished doing this, just drawing monsters and robots, and that was my job. So. <laughs> it's the dream. <laughs> Yep. Howard, I had 
this nagging suspicion, we may still be faceless freshmen here at Norrisville High. Mmm, there's a delicious desperation in the air today. The second he pokes his little ninja head out of his little ninja hiding hole, bam, decide! The Ninja Namacon. Come on, baby, you drop some secret ninja knowledge on me. I am the ninja! I wasn't hiding from you, if that's what you think. <laughs> So, I don't think I'm supposed to, but, you know. That's okay. 